it is morning time. There's my side. How are you doing this morning? Good. You doing good? Okay. So there's Sai. Kai is working on letting out body. Here's the main boss of the house. Hello. Oh, that smell nasty. What you eating? You eating yummy cereal? Hello. <laughs> and then here's my good cool kid. Say good morning. Morning. How you doing? Good. You good? You keep so. We're just waiting on the big boy. I'm about to take out these little twists that are so dry. I'm gonna retwist my hair later, but we're gonna leave in about eight minutes. Head to the bus stop. It is 6, 17 in the morning. Let me do it. Amar, stop. Let me deal with him. This was supposed to have been your Christmas gift. This was supposed to have been y'all's Christmas gift. Christmas gift? This was supposed to have been y'all's Christmas oh. gift. <laughs> oh. Open it. Open it. Okay. It's a full on varsity jacket. Open it. I'm opening it. This is my gift for my good friend Angel. Oh wow! Yeah. It says the slightly problematic tour take two. You like it? I do. I never had a letter jacket. Well, then you got one. Look. I got it for all the guys on the to on the hit, uh, tour. You got me, Kevin. What's good, fam? I'm taking a break for the moment from the house, but we still doing what we do. We over here at uh, where we at first watch. Yeah. yeah, personally I like wild eggs, but first watch got better uh, mimosa. Anyway, got a rare sight that y'all rarely see. That's my brother. Tearing that food up. <laughs> uh, he got some uh, omelet or something. I don't know what he got. I got a salmon for top. I thought it'd be bigger than that. A little disappointed. Tearing these pancakes up. Mama got fresh toast. I don't know where her uh, healthy food is. For the record, it's in the he was in the driver's seat that brought us here. That's because I ain't nowhere else to go. You know, they did. Where, where you want to go? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> so what's good, family? Been a productive day so far. Got some. It's a whole bunch of mold uh, hills back here in my parents' yard. I mean, it's bad. Everywhere I walk, it's like you walk and you sink right away from all the mold uh, hills. So I got some some of this. You probably can't even see it. If I were to. You can't even tell really, but this is all mold stuff all through here, all down there. So got some of this I'm going to put down in the hole to get rid of these things. Cause I don't even understand how this is getting cut back here anyway i'm gonna do that got some other plumbing stuff i've been doing a lot of relaxing i know it seemed like i'm just doing a whole bunch of work and i've been actually relaxing a lot too uh but this is stuff that's i feel like needs to get done so i'm gonna get it done y'all these moles is ridiculous back here it's crazy they all over the place well i don't know if it's one or a bunch but god dang he's having a circus and it's annoying because you can't walk without this stepping into the ground, it feels like. All right, y'all. So, me, my mama, and my brother, we knew the project of cleaning up was done to its fullest capacity because we got to the point where we was all just arguing with each other. <laughs> and the dumpster's full. So, that ain't feels good out here right now. Dumpster's full. Basements looks a whole lot better. The backyard definitely looks a whole lot better. Uh, moved the treadmill 
up here to this section so mama can come up here and walk now instead of in the basement um in the dungeon she now has a scene a scenery and the tv so ain't no excuses uh yeah we done done dumpster's full yeah basement was all i done I just got finished saying that now i gotta eat hit up some of my people see who's doing what see who i can see who can stop by but that's my update holla back to y'all in a second oh, i gotta fix this too i broke the back door so i gotta fix that okay it was supposed to have been your christmas gift okay are we rolling? Uh huh. I'm rolling. glad I got enough glasses because if it tugs at the tear strands, I ain't in a position it's to stop not, it right now. It's not going to tug at the tear strands. Okay, close your eyes. All right, I'll close. The left, the spot I told you about? Uh uh. I uh, I got them custom made elsewhere. But I had, to, you had, I had to use your help to, to figure out what design to do. Oh, this is so dope. I hope I can fit it. You should be able to. I'm fat. <laughs> That's all right. You got a trainer. Oh, I do. I do. He be working. I, I, I know like it's I the trainer. Oh, this is fantastic. <laughs> you like it? <laughs> you like it? So dope. Did you already give Kev his? Uh, I, you were the last one. I oh. said I was waiting. I got you. Kev, Josh, and Goosby. Oh, I wish we would have had. You see the front? This is. Oh my God! This is a man. Everybody got a nickname? Yeah. It was either the villain or the rising star, and I said I'm gonna go with the more positive. <laughs> of course you did. Yes. You this like? Is a, oh my oh God. God! Thank you so you much. Welcome. I know it's about to be hot, so you can't really wear it, but Ooh, I'll go to all the coasts. Ooh, it was had me all colored wrong there for a second. So I am finishing up a Target run. I also went to Burlington and returned two items. The I had bought like this front door mat because I thought it was bigger than the mat that we have now. It's not. So <laughs> keeping the mat we have now, and there's really nothing wrong with the mat we have now. But I did get a mat for the backyard and we have two entrances into our house from the backyard. So I bought a second mat for the backyard um, as well as I bought Lottie a water bowl for the backyard because she only has a water bowl inside but she's outside a lot and some wipes for her for when she comes inside so that she's not tracking in a bunch of dirt what else did I get from there oh some hangers because I didn't finish hanging up all my clothes yesterday because I ran out of hangers my mom's using some of my hangers then went to Target um, to return a potential Easter outfit that I did not go with. So uh, then obviously that turned into, I had to get toilet paper because we're out of toilet paper. We've been using this toilet paper from a brand deal that was great, but we're out of it now. Um, and let me think, let me think. Bubble bath, because I bought a bunch of bubble bath, but it was bubble bath for a mar. It wasn't really bubble bath for my age. So, uh, Dr. Teal is like the only like adult bubble bath that I could find. So, I got three bottles of Dr. Teal that I'm gonna put underneath my sink and I'm gonna let Amar have all the baby bubble bath. And then I also purchased what else? Cause I went, a girl went in. Um, some more eyelashes. Always wanna have those on deck some more uh, cotton swabs for when I clean my makeup off my face. And then I'm gonna surprise the boys this weekend because truly they have been sweet angels this entire time. Um, you know, I think sometimes, even though, you know, kids kind of have to just go through life and life happens to them until they are adults. But uh, I don't want to discount that them not having both parents in the house the way they're used to is not something that like they handle it like champs but it is still an adjustment that we have kind of forced them into um uh so they have just taken it so well they have not given me any you know i don't want to say grief but they haven't uh, you know sometimes sorry i keep i'm rambling 
when there's like a big life adjustment children will what they call like act out and just because they don't know how to verbalize how they're feeling or whatever they have been just so smooth and easy to deal with i feel like we've had such a great week so i know they like doing stuff like um making pizzas so i got a bunch of like i made these like pizza making making kits so like mini pizza dough i got the pizza sauce two different cheeses turkey pepperoni chicken mushrooms tomatoes basil they'll probably just do cheese and pepperoni turkey pepperoni but still i gave got a whole like little thing together so we're gonna do that tonight and then we're gonna do it again when daddy comes back home tomorrow so because i know big marcus would also want to participate but so i'm gonna let them have it two days in a row so that's it let me stop talking this is a four minute clip i'm so sorry i don't need to do this bye so what's good family i am in kentucky right well y'all know where i'm at um it's derby season most people know about the kentucky derby almost everybody does but what a lot of people don't know about is all the events leading up to the kentucky derby so right now i'm at kingland which is a, a horse track um this is the parking lot just for my california people kentucky has grass extra grass just for people to park on this is literally just the parking lot you drive up there and you park on the grass anyway um i'm up here at kingland i'm um because i have on slacks the dress code is crazy because most time you come to uh like a horse uh, race or something it's usually semi-formal but you got people in shorts i got on some joggers jordans got on my black active active black blackfish shirt but you can see people up here in suit coats dress pants they got the derby hats the women got the hats on doing their thing uh like this young lady or she ain't young but you know what i mean over here uh business casual all of that anyway about to get up in here and check out these races uh, and then one of my friends, he's actually uh, working this. He's undercover. They have undercover uh, police up here. So, ooh, maybe he can deputize me. Oh, I'm snitching on somebody today. Um, so I might be able to kick it with him a little bit too. But anyway, I'm gonna let y'all see what this whole derby thing is. Not derby, just the horse races. It's off the hook. Yeah, doing the thing, look at it. They were on you, they sent two golf carts out. That's like normal. Um, so it'll be a mixed crowd. Derby, it, everybody's dressed nice. And when I used to come here, when I before I moved, when I used to come up to the West, I would actually be dressed up to, you know, slacks, slacks on, business casual, whatever. But it's all good. There's people up here in their cargo shorts. But uh, I'm gonna let y'all. Yeah, I saw. Them. So y'all, I'm in here. Y'all see how crowded it is. People all over they uh doing their thing so anyway right now i'm at this area where the, they walk the horses through for the races so that's where people can inspect them they can't actually go up and touch them but they can see how they're walking if you know what you're doing you know what to look for they actually just took them all to the other side but they were walking all the horses through this area so they walk them on this path there's still one over there but they'll walk them with the uh, jockey and everything and they walk them and basically parade them around here then they also take them in there and walk them around the oval so people can see the horse that they want bet on they can say oh he's you know he's walking proud he's in a good mood today or she she's uh but yeah and then they walk him over here and then he's gonna take them over to the other side and walk them over there for those people to see. But it was uh, a bunch of them. It was like, I don't know, 10 horses that they just walked through here. Um, and this is what people are doing for weeks and weeks and weeks leading up to the actual derby. Um, they up here, it's a lot of cigar smoke, man. It smells pretty damn good to me. You probably gonna get me a drink. Um, oh yeah, see it's bourbon state right here so they got all the good drinks makers mark is uh, promoting this so i'll probably get me there a uh, small batch makers mark find me a cigar and just roll through but it's nice out here <laughs> look at this i asked bj if he i'm gonna ask him if he can deputize me <laughs> so what's up fam just had me a bar a pool 
barbecue chicken sandwich. Oh my god. Anytime I get a sandwich in Kentucky, this barbecue, anything, you can tell it's just meat slathered in some type of barbecue sauce. With this, you can tell this chicken was cooked until it fell off the bone, paired with some sauce, and put on a sandwich, and it was delicious. But I needed to eat something because I wanted me to get me a lot of y'all are probably thinking Kentucky mule. No, in Kentucky, we just call it a bourbon mule. Actually, today was my first time hearing the term a bourbon mule, because they was like, yeah, it made sense, we in Kentucky, they're not gonna call it a Kentucky mule. So anyway, uh, we got another race about to start, but this is, uh, so they got screens up all over to watch the race as well as the uh, showcase, I guess you want to call it, of the horses that I showed y'all earlier. And that's out here. That's a better view than I showed y'all earlier. Um, but, oh no, you're fine, no perfectly fine. <laughs> While they were showcasing, the did the last showcase I was eating, so I couldn't uh, do it. And I wanted to actually vlog me uh, the food but everybody's got a hold of conversation, I guess, which is great. But I was like, I'm trying to vlog this and eat. <laughs> so anyway, I'm gonna try to get out here because they're, they're putting the horses at the starting line about to start the next race. And you can watch that here. As they walk them up and put them in the cage, and the cage drops, and they say, and they're off in the race. So I'm gonna hopefully I can get this next race for y'all. I think we only got like four more. <laughs>
for the races um, the race that I caught was on the grass uh, track which is a shorter race I was hoping to get catch one on the dirt track which is uh, that's where they run the mile and the 16th and the mile and a half which is also closer to where I was standing um, but I missed that the, the next like three races was that but I didn't want to have to go through the trouble of getting back down to that area where I was standing before so hopefully y'all got a good feel of it that would have been better because you can feel them running you can figure out the thunderous group of horses running down through anyway y'all wouldn't have been able to do it but i would have so anyway i'm about to run to the house grab me something else to eat and see what else is up it's nice out here today it's like high 70s low 80s and it's absolutely beautiful you can, birds is chirping weather's nice as long as you don't stand in the sun too long it's nice yo so i'm back home turns out they the only people that call that a bourbon mule. Everybody else calls it a Kentucky mule, so they ain't know what they was talking about. Anyway, back at the house. Mama went to work today. And let them people know that she's retiring in May. That's right. Yeah. 
and that means she's gonna be in California a whole lot more, a whole lot often, and for a whole lot longer, right? Right. All right, y'all heard it here. Uh, yeah, they use cheap bourbon because I got a headache now. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna relax, I'm gonna chug my water, and we gonna eat. Bad chicken.